Oh, I see. Look at you, Sonia. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hi, I'm Jen Jerome, and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty, and this is episode number seven of Still Place Like Home where we interview groups, individuals, and small businesses doing things in and around our community. So today we are talking with Dan Nicholson, and we have his daughter Celia here, and his wife Julie filming. And Dan and Julie are art teachers by trade, and our daughters are the same age, and I've known them since we were, these kids were infants. And Dan has developed this very cool hula hoop, and we're gonna to talk to him today about it. So Dan, how'd you get started on this? So about 15 years ago, I was at the Worcester Art Museum and I noticed these people were hula hooping really large hoops and I noticed that adults were doing it pretty easily and I thought, I gotta get one of those. <laughs> and I asked them where you get them. And they said, we didn't, we didn't get them, we made them. So I think it was that very day I started making these things because I, I loved the idea that I could finally hula hoop because these are bigger, heavier, they have better traction because they're taped. And what do you make them out of? Okay, so irrigation tubing is plentiful and people discard it all the time. They work on a project and they get maybe 80 feet of it and then they only need 50 feet. So I get the rest because what are they going to do with it? So I got a big pile of uh, extra irrigation tubing. I couple it together and then I tape with nice colorful tape. These things have been around for a while they're all scraped up. I make nice uh, designs uh, when I make them fresh. You can uh, you can look through that fax there and see a bunch of different patterns. But it's it's really fun to take these things to farmers markets like the Maynard Farmers Market. I'm a sort of a regular there every year, <laughs> uh -huh. and I. Um, so how can we get a hold of these? So you can talk to me. Get, okay, get so and and I'll I'll make one for you. I could even make them custom. Wow, sizes and things like that. So, so how much yeah. is it to buy to purchase a hula hoop from you? So twenty dollars. So buy you a nice big hoop. Um, that's probably as small as I would suggest. That's that's getting towards the whammo size that was very hard, and I could never do it. And <laughs> when I when I found these, I realized that it wasn't me. That was the problem. It nice. Was, it was the hoop. Of course. <laughs> Of course. So Dan has offered to use some of these hoops as loaners until you can get your own if you'd like to buy one. And also we're going to have a contest. We'd love to see your videos of, hula, of you hula hooping. It could be your parents, it could be your grandparents, it doesn't matter. We'd love to see it. And we'll randomly select a winner to uh, receive a gift card from Emma's Cafe. So um, let's see your videos. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff.